In San Andreas, California is the newest Paul's Sanctuary built by Pat Derby and Ed Stewart. It's called Ark 2000. I think they're a little too heavy for my tripod. Eventually, all the animals will call this home, but right now, elephants roam on these wild open spaces. She's sucking on my hand, and it's because she was separated. Her mother was killed when she was far too young. Before coming here, most of these giants were snatched from their families, often locked in confining cages. Most of these elephants have walked, you know, 100 feet one way and 100 feet the other way for 40 years. They are defenseless against harsh training tactics. Most of these elephants have been blocked and tackled with, in a helpless position and beaten just to establish dominance. Touch is so important to them. If they're trained with bull hooks, it's so bad because they're reprimanded for touching you with their trunk. And as the saying goes, an elephant never forgets. This country. That is until they meet Pat. She traveled all of her life after she was captured as a baby. She says, I don't have to get in a truck anymore. Oh, Wanda! Wanda, she's defensive. She's not sure if you're going to hit her or love her. She follows us around like a little puppy now. So she's learning it's not, it's not going to happen here. In time, Pat shows the elephants they can trust again. Good girl, Lou. Sometimes it takes more than treats to help forget a troubled past. Oops. That was Lulu throwing a rock. She's frustrated. In the beginning with Lulu, it was like being in a war zone, like on the Gaza Strip. You'd have these rocks coming at you like missiles. Lulu came from a zoo a year ago where she was bullied by her companion elephant for most of her life. So Lulu was always repressed physically by this other elephant held down. There, Lou. There's watermelon down there. Today's challenge is getting Lulu to leave the safety of her barn. Honey, nobody's going to close that gate. You can't outcast an elephant, especially one with issues. You little chicken. Pat's biggest worry is in taming an unruly newcomer. It's the constant fundraising needed to raise thousands of dollars each day to feed the animals. Not to mention the mortgage to keep the ark afloat. So Lulu, Wanda, and others like them will always have a safe sanctuary. I don't care about having jazzy clothes or great cars or possessions, but I do want them to have everything they need.